Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. So, down here today, just kind of fool around with something. This is a Secrets to VE injection pump AFC tuning. Although it kind of applies to any sort of injection pump that has a AFC housing on it. And that uh, a lot of people don't know what's actually going on with it. So they don't know how to tune it. So they don't take advantage of it like they should because uh, a properly tuned AFC makes for something that drives a lot better and actually makes more horsepower because it uh, lets the turbo spool quicker and doesn't uh, just flood it with fuel and black smoke and lower your EGTs. Leaner's meaner. So we'll take a look here at what we've got. This is a Typical stock AFC. I do have a ground pin in here. So that allows full travel to the foot. Trying to get you where you can see, but not very well. And you can see down in there, there's a pin that sticks through on this side. There's a pin that sticks out and it hits against this lever. This lever is the AFC foot, it actually is what limits the fuel travel. And as boost comes up, the pin goes in on the ramp, which I'll show you that here in a little bit and allows full travel. So the way this is set right now is it's got a stock spring in it and it's like the way a lot of people want to tune them with it tuned all the way down or screwed all the way down so it'll just smoke like crazy. So my question was at what point does that uh, does it take to get full fuel travel here? I got a air gun with a regulator and a qualified test gauge. I'm see I'm getting about 12 psi. See this? So maybe you can. There's the foot. And that's it, that's all the travel has got. So 12 PSI is all it takes to get all the fuel you can get out of this pump. Now, if you got a big set of injectors in, you probably really don't want any extra fuel until you're above 12 PSI, so this is crap. So this is a stock cone. Other than you can see where I've grounded deeper there. And that little bit is all it takes to get full travel out of your pump and uh, anything deeper than that and you're just going to cause a fuel leak. A lot of aftermarket pins are ground deeper than that and they do leak fuel into the AFC housing when you're up on full boost because it allows the pin to over travel. It can only move until this foot hits the housing and that's it. So that right there that's as far as it can ever go. It doesn't matter how much deeper you grind the pin that's all it's ever going to go and maybe you can see so it only comes about halfway out into the bore Now instead of having the star wheel all the way down, I'm going to put it all the way to the top. So that's it. You can't go any higher than that. Lost tooth engagement. So let's go back down. About like that. About one thread showing. 
So now if it won't adjust itself. All right, same 12 PSI, we'll see if we get any movement. It's going some. See where it takes to get max. Well, that's uh, 23 pounds. I'm not quite hitting the housing yet. It's 33 pounds. Yeah, it's bombing out. Thirty pound. Yep, that's bottoming out. So even though we've got all the way to the top, anything over 30 pounds, you're getting max fuel. Try this red spring, see if it makes any difference. Still bottoming out. So we're at 20 pounds. Yeah, 20 about a match spring out. Now we're on 15. No, 15 won't bottom it. So if you have one, use the blue spring, not the red. So I'm gonna go modify this AFC top. I'll cut all this off and We'll come back and check it again. That should uh, allow some more fuel to come out of this. I'll be right back. All right, so cut the ridge down the top to allow this to come up more. I could have cut it down further, but realistically on this stock pin, this groove will get hung up in the pin if it's on any of these deeper settings with it like that. So I left it a little tall so it won't go up that high to keep the pin from getting stuck. Uh, if you go to the thinnest side here, you can come down on this flat and be okay. So this pin's not ground ideal because it's ground on the deepest setting. So it really allows too much fuel down low here. But it's okay, it is what it is. But with this stiffer blue spring and the star wheel all the way to the top, so all it takes is five PSI and this thing starts to increase fueling. Uh, at about three, it doesn't do anything, but at five, it's already starting to add fuel again. So you can, safely run your AFC all the way up like this and you shouldn't notice any uh, turbo lag or performance decrease from doing so because as soon as it starts making more than five pounds it's going to start adding more fuel if you've got any kind of decent sized injectors at all in it uh, probably still going to be fuel fat I'm sure on my white truck it will be 
That goes through how to map out an ASC so that you understand what's going on. So like I said right now, uh, with this star wheel all the way up in this particular spring in here, uh, it's adding fuel from 5 PSI all the way up to 30. And anything above 30, it's all the way, all it's going to go. So at 40 or whatever, it's not going to be adding any more fuel because the pump's already maxed. And unless you get into coming underneath here and cutting his foot to allow more travel, which you can do, but uh, to allow more fuel. But uh, if you do that, you can't take it away. So I would advise not ever doing that. Best thing to do is just work with what you got, and then you don't get into a mess of having some uh, piece that's unique that you can't get any parts for to fix or do anything with in the future. Uh, once you cut this stuff, you can't really put it back, so. But uh, with just a stock ground pin like this, you know, that's what I had in, in the old yeller. And it put over 630 horse to the tires and over, well, it pegged the dyno at 1,250 foot-pounds, so. It was around probably 1,300 foot-pounds at the time and just a stock pin with a little grinder action to allow full travel. You don't need anything fancy. I guess you can say that's free horsepower. So, hopefully you learned something and this will help you to make your vehicle drive better, save fuel, smoke less, and make more power. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I'll catch you later.